Excel's AutoSum feature is a really useful and fast way to add the values in a range of cells together. Let's open one of the sample files now by clicking the Office button at the top left of the screen, open and navigate to the C drive, then practice all sessions, session 2 and first quarter sales and profit 2. Now if you've been working through the lesson sequentially you'll already have this open of course. In cell A9 I'm going to type the word total followed by the tab key. The cursor then moves to the right and is now in cell B9. And I want you to look at the editing group on the home tab and notice that at the top left of that group there's a little symbol that looks like an M on its side and this is the auto sum button. I'm going to click the auto sum button once and something interesting has happened back on the worksheet. Excel's placed a marquee around the number range that AutoSum has guessed we want to work with. The pattern of dots that marks the boundary of the marquee is called the marching ants. That really is the technical term for these little dotted lines. The marching ants surround all of the numbers above cell B9 up to the first blank cell or the first cell that has text in it rather than a number. And we can see that B3 has Jan in it and that's why the marching ants start there. Now let's look at the actual formula in cell B9. It's equals sum, open brackets, B4, colon, B8, close brackets. This is your first glimpse of an Excel formula. Formulas always begin with an equals sign. The formula is using the sum function to compute the sum, which is another word for total, of the values in cells B4 to B8. You now need to either press the Enter key on your keyboard or click the Auto Sum button once more. And when you do that, we can see the total sales for January are 129,000. Auto Sum doesn't only work for columns of numbers, it also works for rows of numbers. So I'm now going to click in cell E4 to demonstrate that feature. Once again, I click the Auto Sum button, and this time the marching ants surround all of the numbers in the row up to either the first blank cell or the first cell with text in it. And in this case, cell A4 has the text New York, and that's why the marquee, or the marching ants, begins there. I'm now going to click the Auto Sum button again, and we can see that New York sold 70,000 during the first quarter of the year. I'm now going to save this workbook, so I click the Office button at the top left of the screen, then Save As, and I'm going to save it as the default Excel workbook. I'm not going to put it in the Session 2 folder, otherwise I'll overwrite the sample file First Quarter Sales and Profit 3. Instead, I'll click back to Practice and I'll save it here. First Quarter Sales and Profit 3. I click the Save button and we're done. Yeah.